Hello to all my YouTube friends. Today's video is jam-packed with fall fun. I have some fall DIYs and a couple are cheap copycats of expensive Pottery Barn items. And I'm going to show you how to use those DIYs to style a gorgeous fall tablescape. And we'll finish up by showing you a couple other areas in my house that I decorated for fall. But first, I have to tell you about my big Dollar Tree adventure because I'm super excited about it. You know I love Dollar Tree and I had heard about these so-called super Dollar Tree stores, but I had never seen one. So they were like some fantasy land in my mind. But I recently moved to Colorado and found this gem of a store. I kind of stood there in awe when I first walked in, but look how much fall stuff they had and everything was nicely organized. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a big store like this near you. Okay, let's get going on the first craft. I saw these cute candles at Pottery Barn, but we are going to make them much cheaper by using these vanilla scented Dollar Tree candles. I started by using an X-Acto knife to slice some indentions into the candle. This video is part of a group collab hosted by Haley May over at The Farmer and the Southern Belle. I love her channel and all the cute farmhouse crafts and her vlogs are so fun. A group of us are going to do fall tablescapes and there will be a playlist with all 10 videos, so I'll make sure to link that playlist in the description box below. Next, I used some paint to color those little slices that we made. I used a paper towel to wipe the paint off while it was still wet. It's okay if a little paint stays on the unsliced areas because it gives it that uneven texture and that color that a natural tree would have. Okay, here is the comparison of my candles to the Pottery Barn ones. I love how cute these came out for just $1 each. You guys really seem to like it when I do dupes of high-end items like this. Well, I wanna make you happy, so we are going to do another one. I thought these signs were really cute from Pottery Barn, but look at those prices. My full-time job is a graphic designer, so I knew I could recreate these for super cheap. I will have these printables in a blog post for you to download for free. And hey, if you're stopping by my channel for the first time, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all the love and support you give me on my channel. My name is Maria, and my passion is sharing ways to get creative in your home. If you like home DIYs, dupes, and you're obsessed with Dollar Tree like me, please hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell right now so you'll know when my next video goes up. These frames were from Dollar Tree and they're not real wood, but I thought the wood pattern and texture was pretty convincing on these. So at $1, this 8x10 frame is a great value for this project. So here is my version next to the Pottery Barn version. What an amazing savings and pretty close to the original, right? I have another printable for you. I made these belly bands for the napkins and this will add a little elegant touch to our tablescape. You could put your guests' names on these or use the ones that I have with different phrases on each one. I did blue on these because as you'll see in a couple minutes, I have an elegant blue theme for my fall table. It's hard to see here, but these do have a speckled texture on them, giving them a little farmhouse look. I trimmed these with an X-Acto knife and taped them in the back. This is regular paper, so you don't need any fancy accessories to make these. I'm really happy with how these came out. The last fall craft we'll be making will use these Dollar Tree wooden blocks. I started by spray painting them white. I had created this cake stand in another video and wanted these blocks to tie in with it, so I added some black streaks to the blocks. Mm -hmm. 
These letter stickers come in various fonts and sizes at Dollar Tree and they actually stick really well to the wood. I didn't need any extra glue or anything. Look how cute this came out on my fall centerpiece. I did pick up a couple things to round out what I needed for a blue themed table. In the dollar section at Target, I found these cute white suede pumpkins. These blue dinner plates were the perfect shade of blue and were only $2 each at Target. This heart and hand table runner from the Magnolia line at Target was only $18 and it has thin blue stripes going down the middle. This used to be a round table, but we put the center leaf in and now it's more of an oval shape. It also gives more room between people for social distancing. I love the inlay on this wood, so the runner will look great because it won't hide the pretty table too much that's underneath. I love these soft velvety cleaning cloths that I found on Amazon. They have a little scalloped edge. And I always use this wood cleaner on my table before styling a tablescape. Since that wood is dark, I want to make sure I get any dust off because it shows a lot on dark wood. I added a couple wooden trays so the centerpiece would have some height and then I got to decorating. I usually do very symmetrical looks to my tablescapes, but I switched things up a little bit this time for visual interest. Those signs were super cute, but I didn't like how they looked on the table, so I put them on a countertop right next to the table. It just adds even more fall cheer to the kitchen. I also added this sign that I found at Home Goods above the fireplace. And in the entry hall, I have a pumpkin I had created in one of my other videos. My office is right over here. Sorry about the mess. I was in the middle of a project but I have this wreath I had made on the door and it's so cheerful to look out from my desk. I just love it there. Actually, I'll link that video in a playlist with some gorgeous fall cupcakes I did last year, which would look so pretty on a fall dining room table. And there's a little subscribe button right down here, so make sure to click on that so you know when my next video goes up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.